Welcome to What's the 411, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I am Onika McQueen. And I'm Keisha Wilson. Yes! Hey, Keisha, <laughs> how are you, darling? I'm doing well. How was your week? Uh, allergy ridden, but um, <laughs> I'm here. I'm good. 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 How so about you? Good. I'm great. So Kizzy's off today, and so's Courtney. So we have Keisha Wilson here, and she's going to bring you the news, <laughs> and we're going to have a good time cutting up as usual. Yes, I'm excited. Thanks for having me. Okay, well, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. So let's get started. Okay, Onika, well, it's taken a little over a year, but Minnesota judge Kevin Eide has finally named the heir to Prince's estate. They are his sister and five half-siblings. With the sister with the drug problem? Well, okay. I mean, maybe, she, maybe she's reformed now. Sorry. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. I don't want to have the... Uh, Just because Prince she has bad hair, coming, but no. coming, I have bad hair too. <laughs> no. So, but wait a minute. This is good hair, right? So listen. <laughs> uh, Blackish. Uh, there's a spinoff to the heat hit TV show Blackish. Tentatively, it's called College Ish. So, uh, Yara Shahidi, you know that she's so, she's so pretty <laughs> be and beautiful and smart. Oh yes. my gosh, she's so smart. So she's gonna. Um, they're gonna kick off with uh, thir 13 30 minute episodes. That should be interesting. They need to work on that title a little bit. College ish. -ish. Well, blackish worked. So college ish. I mean, blackish flows a little better than -ish. college ish. College days. College. I don't know. Like, how did they come up with a different world? Right. Is that was a great, great title. Right. And it flowed. A different world. College ish. Well, I don't know. They don't pay me to make such decisions, but hopefully it's better than what they Well, congratulations propose. to her. Blackish is a big hit. I don't know if you watch it, but it's phenomenal. And, I'm ashamed uh, to say I, I don't. Well, it's it's really good. It's that might really be on good. Netflix one day in the rainy weather. Netflix. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katherine Johnson, an engineer, better known as the human computer and subject of the movie Hidden Figures, delivered the commencement speech at Hampton University. It's a great movie. Oh, yeah, it is a great movie. <laughs> right, it's so funny. And you know what's so funny? It's it's a feel-good, proud movie. Like, I just I just love the way that movie was done. So uh, I know that, that that was a treat for her and for the Hampton University. Yes. Um, so Anthony Weiner. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> congressman of New York, rep in Brooklyn, uh, pleaded guilty to, to exchanging sexually explicit online messages including violent rape fantasies last year with a teen girl that he knew was underage that's like a little crazy right have mercy mm -hmm. <laughs> he's likely to get 21 to 27 months in prison though I, I think that that's like a little bit of time and then he has to be uh he has to file as a, a sexual offender register as a sexual offender but um mm, i think that maybe he needs some mental help he probably does that um you know the jail time may not be much but that registered sex for sex offender status is for life yeah. and that is something that he has to disclose every time he moves somewhere every time he gets a job i don't know who's hiring anthony weiner these days but if he was to ever get a job like a quote-unquote normal person he has to check that box and i think he comes from some kind of family means though i think that he'll be okay financially oh, okay that could well, just be my assumption but but he has a child and a wife. And i mean that. oh and his wife is filing for divorce yeah now, so right? i'm wondering um is it a girl or a boy i'm not sure but i do know that that he probably needs some help well, we hope he gets the help that he needs in lighter news. <laughs> According to Radar Online, Jay-Z has hired an around-the-clock live-in nurse and a team of doctors to care for his lovely pregnant wife, Beyonce. As she should. <laughs> That's right, boy. Do your thing. Um, before, until her twin babies are born. Apparently, Bay's pregnancy is high risk, so they want to make sure there's a smooth birth and there are no further complications. I wonder if they're going to shut down the hospital again. Remember they shut down the hospital for well, Blue Ivy? I mean, when you're J and B, or Bay? It's Bay, girl. Bay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Bay. Uh, I mean, you can do anything that you want, I think. So Kiki Palmer cut her hair, and now social media is going crazy. Why? I, they, you know, why because, is this a story? Because social media cares about everything that you put out there. So she cut her hair. They're not happy about it. But I, I, is it I, a bad style? I, I don't know. It's just really short. But I watch Kiki Palmer, and she changes her hairstyles quite frequently. So I don't even know why that is the story. But hey, whatever. And she's a beautiful girl. She can pull it off. I am